Hello Brick Builders! How you doing today? Mr. Studs with our daily tip number 15. Today I'm going to talk about how to build a zigzag or herringbone pattern out of bricks. Usually when you build a wall in Lego, something like this, you will get two smooth sides. You'll get your studs on the top and your anti-studs on the bottom. Now, this may not be exactly what you need for your project. Maybe you want to have studs on another side, have studs on the top and the side. And maybe just one smooth side and anti-studs, or maybe two smooth sides. Who knows? But we're going to show you how to make a zigzag pattern that will give you two studs or two sides with studs on them. So first of all, I want to go through building just one element of this design. And this is a fairly simple block to build. So we're just taking one by bricks, we add a Technic brick with a single hole, slap in a half pin, and then just a filler brick in the end. So we get a rectangular shape. On the top we have our studs, on the side we only have one stud in that Technic brick. So if we take this, and we line it up we take another one and we line that up and another one and line that up you're gonna see something amazing happen here so let's take these two put them together and now you'll notice this stud on the end lines up with these studs here. If we take our next element and put that on, then those lock in. And now this stud on the top lines up with these studs. We take our next element, we do the same thing. And you can already start to see a zigzag pattern forming in our bricks. Let's see if the light will catch this. There's a reason I did it in black. I'll talk about it later. And then one more just to complete that pattern. So I'll try to get the light to show that a little better for you. Oh, there we go. Okay, so see our zigzag pattern there? Okay. If you finish out the block, you will end up with something like this. Now the reason I needed a herringbone pattern like this is in relation to our daily tip number 14 which, if you haven't watched, is about doing these kind of road plates. So you'll notice, maybe, if I can get, there we go, that there is three pinholes here. And that's going to come into play. And it just so happens, if we take a road plate and we line it up, it just matches perfectly. So... I wanted to show you how to do this herringbone pattern because it's going to be playing a role in the next segment of how to build our modular roads. So I'm sure you can find a bunch of different uses for this. This could be used in many, many ways. You could do it vertically. I'm actually using it horizontally, or yeah, horizontally so I can get these studs on the side and these two smooth sides, which is what I'm really after is these two smooth sides. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully it was useful for you.
For those that have liked, shot, subscribed, and shared, thank you very much. Please continue to do so. We have a Patreon account where you can go and support us making these videos. As well, we have our Facebook page. You can come visit us and join in the discussion there. Keep dreaming in bricks. Bye-bye.